Aloha! This is the Green Lightning Mr. T. And this stopwatch won't reset. There it goes. And in this episode, we'll continue through this Cave of Wonders. Not really the Cave of Wonders, but I'm just... Okay, fine, I just watched, like, P... I'm actually getting into, a, like, a new channel, P. Cole. Because I watched his Battle Toads race. Or with a couple other uh, YouTubers. Or Let's Players, or whatever. And, well, I find him very... Um, hilarious and comical because he's and he doesn't know what to talk about he just starts singing um, he just starts singing and he's very entertaining and he does a nice selection of games or something like that so you can check out his channel or something like that and it's your lucky day chunky I'm pretty sure I will be disappointed because we don't have any really need for anything past the melon upgrade. <laughs> Basically, you only... The energy. You, you don't run out of energy. And I skipped over what she was going to say. <sighs> that she's out of... Okay. Sorry, Chunky. I've already taught you everything I know. But I can still give you a little help. Okay. So it's now up to 25. 25 is our max. Uh, if we ever need it to be that high. And... Nanometal! Why do they always put oranges on their water? Why not something else? Alright, I guess we'll go back to Tiny and he keep heading our way back up. Now that we're done with this area here. Got every upgrade we ever need or ever get. There's a critter in the sheet, one we heard a long time ago. Apparently, it's been a couple videos or one, something like that. And here's our first instance of one of these uh, door things. There's like one for each Kong. Uh, I repeat, or uh, I replay, I revise. Okay, um, whatever, um, there is four, three for one Kong and two, and one for two Kongs. And here's our next area, sub-area thing. Might as well get this out of the way. So in this one, you get tiny and you... Go in here, this little dumpster. Using this mushroom. And we shall meet an old enemy. Flies. Yes, they actually made a. G put these somewhere. Now, they will fly at you. You can either play music to kill them all, or you can grab some of this homing ammo and make it a bit more fun. And these are by far the worst enemy. Flying enemy. By far. And they go splat when you kill them. I love the squash noise. So it is so much easier just to play your music. 
Oddly enough, they did not make it so you could not uh, play your music in this room. Yep. And basically, after you play your music, they all go all at once, and it is very funny. However, you don't get to kill them with their, any other way anyways, so very rare opportunity for whatever you desire. Kill all these annoying flies. What are those? Like, oh, pieces of paper. Yes, this is a dumpster, and that's supposed to be popcorn, I guess. I don't know. Whatever, it's a... It's got a big thing of cheese in the middle. Why is that always found in a dumpster? What's wrong with cheese? What do people have against cheese? And... I guess I'll keep going. At this area. Now in this case, I think it's actually faster to go into the warp area with the Scott and Truff. And then come back out with another Kong. But I am going to keep the trend of not going in there until I'm ready. So, Lanky, sure. to the greenhouse the haunted greenhouse of, of death if you don't make it in time I'm pretty sure uh, crosshair is here to kill you if you don't make it There's something useful. There's a barrel you can find in here to get you through this faster. Basically, without it, you cannot travel like every single route. Basically, if you follow the bananas, you should be fine. See, you follow the bananas to the bana big banana, and you're good. Door opens, the back door, at any rate. And something else. Big pad here, an arena pad appears. So I'm gonna go around and make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. Pretty sure it's just bananas that you can miss. If you don't pick them up when you're following them. Well, and there's a couple of crates, you know, here and there. Doesn't hurt to check when I'm moving this fast. This arena, you obviously have to do is lanky. I it, I just checked everything. The only thing is you can't you can't touch the walls or else you get caught on them. Hello, Palver. Yeah, this is the hardest version of the game, really. I get well technically other than the outside world. I think that should be bad on it. You do have to last for a very long time. And being cheap helps very much. A jumpy thing. Doesn't help you all the way though, because you cannot literally jump on these enemies. And that really pushed me off when I was standing in the center. It's no longer raining, by the way. Something to note, I guess. That when you come out of it, it stops raining. Oh. 
well played okay so now uh, the camera turned around yes oh uh, shoot how do I get out of here this way right um ah uh, it's so dark only three more banana fairies left yep actually leave out that back that's something that's kind of neat all right now all the stuff is chunky and then to come back is tiny how is knowing that will be So, as we now have Chunky, Monkey Chunky, whatever, Chunky, now this guy, yeah, yes he is a character, and this, oh your music, These bats are invisible, by the way. What they intend you to do is to be... Make yourself invisible with this so that you can see the invisible enemies. But it's so much easier just to play your music. And then they, they give you an infinite... Not infinite ammo, they give you homing ammo in here. Did I actually pick something? Yeah, I did pick up some. Oh, that was so quick and easy. We can get out of here. Grab tiny again. Just keep heading our way up. Actually, since we have Chunky, and we just saw the door while a little bit ways back, I'm gonna go do Chunky. Yeah, it's much easier to do stuff as you go up. So you don't, like, forget where stuff is. I have to like wind up walking up it up all the way up again. So it's much easier to do it this way. Did it just give the death animation the well the sound effect without him actually dying? I thought I heard it. Very weird. Anyways, more of these guys. Just hit them in. I think there's an order. One, two, three. 
one, two, three. Why do they even have an order if it's just one, two, three? It's up with all these lock combinations that are like one, two, three, four. Oh, Mia. So, go in the center, drop it. And it'll reveal the banana! Hooray! Alright, I did not want to have. <sighs> Honestly. Imagine if I was trying to hit a switch and it just randomly goes off in some other direction. I mean, huh, that's the biggest deal. Right. Sword, knives, whatever, swords, whatever. Why even have a picture of knives instead of having actual knives? That would be a little bit more confetti. <laughs> I will note that it is there, um, there's a fairy in there, where we just were, but it's easier to get it as tiny. It is possible that you get it as funky. Oh my gosh, I did it again! Stop calling him funky. He's chunky. Oh mamma mia. Once I start saying some, messing something up, I keep messing it up, honestly. Okay, so sorry about that. I was just talking to my roommate. Um. La 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 la. Taking Tiny back up the thing. Create to the creepy castle. And next is Diddy. That didn't take too very long. Yeah, this door is the special one that has two Kongs. Except you hit the, the open the door with one Kong, then you use the other to walk in. So, yeah, best to just do it with Diddy first, and see if you want to switch. I ducked under that. No fire. Whatever. I don't really care. Now is some King K rules. The candles, the usual King K rule picture behind the candle. I don't understand that. But first, you have to kill everything in the room. It is a kill room. And you can play music, apparently. It looks like everything. Just kill everything on the checkerboard floor. This is a ballroom after all. And then they make it something that you've already done, pro most likely even pa more painfully obvious. You fly into the chandelier, no. You light like the cal calendars. Calendars. No. Calendars. No. Ca candles. Oh, mommy. You can see Tiny has the, the pad for her. Now where is this thing? Oh. In we go. And this Boshi Barrel oh, challenge is Minecart me. Mayhem. This one's pretty bad because we have a huge timer, I bet. Alright, let's try and do the old fashioned strategy that I came up with. Oh no, go, 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 go. See, they're trying to do their devious tactics. Go, 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 go.
Oh, this is wonderful. Really? Okay. so nice when they actually like go on top of each other because then you only have, it's like you're only dodging one wow that was incredibly easy now Tony's up and don't worry about the fact that I'm running low on coconut crystals as I said earlier with Chunky there is a fairy in there that is barely possible to get, and really annoying to get as chunky. Now, if we switch to Tiny, the doors won't actually close. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that for anyone else, though. I think this door just doesn't have the function. Whatever, we could just be set to not do it. Oh, you hit me anyways. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that was a, quite a combo, though. <laughs> Fairy. Just take the shot from far away and you don't have to deal with the technicalities. We are almost maxed out. I'll take this first. Tiny, and this is a fun game we are about to play in the next episode. So, this has been the Green Lightning Mr. T, and to you I say, Aloha!